Hey, welcome back on the trails. You probably all thought we disappeared. Well, we didn't. Have a good friend Josh with me here today. And we are on Lake Erie. March 2nd, right? March 2nd, out on Lake Erie. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of new episodes coming at you here. Here you go, brother. Walleye. Did I pop it? Tight. We're gonna have a lot of new episodes coming all spring long and all summer long. Keep you entertained up here on Lake Erie. Um, we'll show you what we got in the box. We finally dialed in our program here today, this afternoon. We got a late start. We literally did not put our first lines in until probably 9:30. It was a big big cluster bucket over at Huron this morning so we decided to come over here to Missouri's we'll let you know where we're at and where we're catching fish so you know, a lot of guys try and keep it all secret just come out here if you got a chance to come out on a charter come out with a friend you got a boat can't get out if you get out here you get a chance you'll catch fish Find the right depth, the right speed. We're trolling, uh, uh, let's see, we got husky jerks out and bandits, so no brainer. Everybody knows what you can use out here. We just had a triple on this last pass. We just spun around. As soon as we spun around, we're hooked up again. So uh, we're gonna see what, we'll show you what we got in the box, because we need to do a count, because it came fast and furious. Every time this sun pops just a little bit, it's overcast, black calm. We're running about 1.3, uh, 110 to 125 back on lead. So let's get the net. We'll be right back. A couple of them. But, but this one's biting a little bit. Look at it. That's the first one, like. Well, a lot of times when they stayed down, they're good. They all fell a little light till they got up to the boat here this morning. Then it was like. Uh, Hold on, That's here, keep her down, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Up, 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 up. Better than that. Yeah, yeah. Got that other line. Woo, 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 bouncing around. How you like that? Oh. I'm almost getting tired of reeling around. <coughs> That's right. Camera on. Huh? Camera on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the floor. Oh yeah, that's what I meant in the box. Well, six fish a day. That's the limit. Six, six fish per man per day. Came here pretty good, huh? Are you in the frame pretty good? Yeah, man. Like your face and everything in my screen. You see it? Yeah, well, I can't see it. Can't. All right, welcome back. Joshy and myself, eee. filling up the boat, trying to. We need three more fish here to get a two-man limit. And we are getting close to our pass again. You see, we pulled a triple off of it. We pulled a double off of it. And then we caught up three or four singles. We didn't have cameras running on our triple, but you want to talk about a cluster bucket. We had all lines tangled up, fish on three rods, one net, four hands. Boys didn't want to get out of bed this morning and go. Boat ramp again at Huron, probably had 150 boats, wouldn't you say, out there? Parking in the 
parking in the grass. They were going to get tickets. So hopefully them boys didn't, but we've been marking fish all through here. All through here. Waypoints. Waypoints are little dots we got marked, so we're just working our way back into that little spot there. And as soon as we hit it, we hopefully get three fish on this pass and we're done. We didn't get started till 10 o'clock, I'm going to say. We had to drive back over to Missouri from here on. Got one on outside. And uh, so it took us a while, 9.30 at the ramp. Got out here, got set up, made our first pass, caught a nice, nice fish right out of the gate. And then we struggled probably till noon working our baits up and down the water column the fish sun just started peeking out kind of like what it is right now it's still really overcast and hazy but the sun started peeking out as soon as it done that uh, the fish started coming up in the water column out of 30 foot of water 36 foot and we started pulling fish and picking fish here at uh right around that 20 15 to 20 mark 25 so we're running our bandits and uh deep downs about 100 to 120 back pulling at 1.2 1.3 moving pretty slow march 2nd we're hoping to bring you all some more uh, action and footage up here on lake erie this spring we'll get some jig fishing in uh colors today pretty much hitting on uh, fire tiger uh black smoke chrome what else we get them on already so, uh, carrot top some of that little flash like I said sun pops they're hitting so we're getting real close there to our marks oh, it's trying to come out it's pretty nice man we're about 41 at the start on the ramp and then we ended up uh Getting out here, I don't know what it is now. They're only going for like a high of 45 maybe today, but the wind's just nothing. There's nothing out here, so that's cool. I like days like this because I tend to get a little seasick out here when it gets rolling, don't I, Josh? Yeah. Josh came up with me uh, last spring in, in that Western Reef Complex, and we struggled in the spring last year. So we're trying our luck on the trolling with the bandits, kind of, you know. You got sick, huh? Yeah, I got sick. You ain't kidding. So we'll bring you some jig in action. We'll bring you uh, this bandit and, you know, crankbait trolling. I mean, it's no-brainer. Just encourage everybody to get out here. Get out there, wherever you're at. Find your own trail. Go ahead, homie. No. Yeah. I, mean, I, I didn't take it. Reel my fish in. Reel my fish in. Alright, I'll reel one down here. That outside, one of them outside should go here pretty quick. I don't know, he might, he hit it and it went back. I might have lost this one. I don't, doesn't feel as heavy. Coming in way too easy. That is that, that's that fire tagger little fire tags yeah I think this one came off unless he's following the boat to me yeah there ain't no fish on this but I'm actually running a uh, yeah I'm running a shallow bandit on this I'm putting it back at 110 it's just a shallow it's not one of the deep diving bandits like a black and I don't know, it looks like it's like a perch. I don't know. I'll show you what we're what we caught them on at the end of the video. Post some pictures. I'd turn the camera back on, Joshy. Alright, we were just debating whether or not we were heading the right direction or not. We went across and uh hopefully y'all can see here. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. Keep it down. Good one too, isn't it? Um, we were just talking, we only caught one fish going this way and we missed one just a little bit ago. Um, and we just pretty much about made our way all the way through pass on this spot. Keep it down. Keep reeling. 
keep reeling. And uh, this is this fish finally, we were just talking about it. We ain't made a hit yet on this side, and then this one went. So, carrot top, second fish of the day on carrot top. Fucking dumb, dumb shits don't even know they're flying right through the fish. So there's that one, one on that pass. We still got a little ways to go here yet. And then we'll swing back around and need two more. That is also a shallow diving bandit. Where was that one at, Josh? Get that one out of his lip. Get him, get the fish, get the fish out of the net, get him unhooked out of the, and then, get, then they'll get, then get them out, then get the crankbait out of the net, safer. I want to take you to the hospital today. Another good one. That might, that might be the indicator right now. We were making that turn, making our little turn there and picked up the speed on the outside. Been running one, two to one, four, one, three, somewhere around there. One, three has been our average, but making that turn, just put that carrot top back out. Started making our turn and the middle board goes. I'm still on that slow turn a little bit. You can tell when I'm turning, these these insides will slow down, them outsides will pick up. Yeah, that's all right. Nice and steady, slow and steady wins you the race there, gee, Eddie. Hey, brother. He's all you, man. Nice and easy. Let's get him in here. We only got to make one more. Keep her going. Keep her going. Keep her going. Keep her going. One of the smaller ones of the day. Probably go 18 or 19. Maybe. Guys, you're having all the fun down the bottom boat, man. Don't get them hooks in your fingers, that shit hurts. So they wound up maybe just a little bit faster. Let's bump her up here. Hold that one up, Yaji. Let's see that old girl. Ooh so eating the neck. Did we we've caught one on each color, right? All six rods. But, but Josh he says it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it does either. You got 50 50 chance. Yeah. Kind of like the weather channel. 50 50. Yeah. They were also you know. calling for 53 degrees, and I don't know if it's got 53 yet, but it's 53 all week, and then we get up here and it's 41 on the dock. I'm showing water temp at 36 degrees. 36.2. Wants to come on out. JJ got his, uh, tell us, well, he got his buck back. Oh, I got your board over here, huh? He got his buck back, right? They're not back. He ain't back from the taxidermy yet. But what'd he score, Josh? 146 and an eighth. 146 and an eighth. JJ got himself a Ohio big buck in the books. So that buck will be coming back around once get him uh, getting back from the taxidermy. We'll do a little follow up on that. But yeah, we're gonna plan on hitting the Maumee River. Might take both boats up so we can take a big crew up. We're gonna do a little camping out. Uh, this walleye will be coming in at target temperature. It doesn't matter. Once the water hits 42 degrees, 42 to 40, this might be number 12. 42 to 47. Once you see the water temp hit 42 degrees in the river, they, uh, 
They start coming in. Just hold on to it. Actually, bring it on in. Take that off and reel it up. Yeah, take it off and bring it on in. We ain't got all day. Uh, that, that might be it. Mamas are already calling. Got groceries to go get. Here, buddy. You've been on fire on that side. Last couple passes. You reel them in. The old blue chrome, little fire belly. Non stop on Lake Erie. Come on, bring us number 12. Let's get her done. I think he's still on there. All we need, one more fishy. Eee, fishy, fishy, fishy. Probably, my guess is if he's on there, I don't know if he's still on there. Still on there? Feel anything? My guess is it's a catfish. My guess is it's a catfish. Coming in way too easy, isn't it? Jig jagging. Yep. Dang it. I saw him hit. Son of a gun. We're still, we're still at it. One more to go. Uh, I'm gonna check this one. Just seems like. Got it. I don't know. No, oh, I, I got it, nothing, nothing on it. And that last one. Literally just said the boards are pulling real nice right now. <laughs> Looking good coming back through this pass here, trying to get one more fish in the boat, and uh, board's gone, isn't it? Could this be the one, boys and girls? Could just very well be. He could be the one we're looking for today. Or came back up. That would be get rid of that 18 in the box. Go for one more. Get rid of the 18 in the box. <laughs> no, not 18 fish, people. 18 inches. That's what she said. Like I just put that one back out there. I don't know if it just it just stopped. It was gone and literally just stopped. Unless I got hung up with you know, the stink of fish. They've been they've been going outside the boat, not wanting to come to the boat today. Yep, big big wall ride rolling on the water back there. All right, getting back over on that side. Just nice and steady. Slow and steady wins the race, Eddie. I better turn off. Looks like got a captain coming our way and he knows where the fish is at. For as many fish that are stacked up in this spot, it doesn't seem like there's been a whole lot of traffic through it, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I, you know, once you locate them, once you locate them, it just becomes a little different story here. We're gonna just keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down. Let it float on in, just keep reeling steady. Keep reeling steady, Eddie. Gets a little closer, we'll start bringing her up. Nice and easy, nice and easy, not yet. Yep, start bringing up, bring pull up, bring pull up easy, slow. Keep that rhythm going. Mama's in the bucket. Yes, sir. Go all right. Blue chrome. Blue chrome. Come on. Turn that aerator off. We're gonna get us a final count, but we do believe that's number 12, and that's a dandy of a fish. How'd you say that water was? Cold. Cold. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm counting twelve too, brother. All right, let's roll them back in. That's a freaking piggly wiggly. That's a piggly wiggly. We got some piggly wiggly. That's, that's the smallest fish. Eighteen inches. What do you say, dude? 
tall fish. Not too bad. What time is it? 232. 10:30, 11:30, 12:30, 1:30, 2:30. 4 hours fishing. A little slow. But once you got once we it took us we probably lost what? Every bit 2 hours just dialing things in. I mean it takes time, but sweet. Well, hey. We're looking for blue chrome in the head. Uh dialed in our program today and they're stacked still out here so we're gonna head back in and we will keep you all updated get some pictures later remember like and subscribe if you made it to the end of the video here with josh and i hit us up in the comments like subscribe joshy thanks for coming out today yeah, with me always a pleasure he's my icebreaker every year yeah. we come out early in the season early spring it's usually snowing Nobody lost any gear so far. Didn't, didn't lose any glasses. Last time we fished, I threw his, I threw his uh, glasses in the drink. So, all right, man. Let's get her packed up, bring him in, and we'll haul, haul her in. Hey, welcome back on the trails, folks. 2024. First uh, table full of walleye here, uh, March 2nd. So, had a pretty nice day out there. Josh, I'm glad you got to go with me. And as always, the annual, our annual icebreaker. Uh, Josh called you last night and he was ready to, ready to go. So, a little slow start today. I know it's probably half of these fish we didn't even get on film. We literally went uh, into a double following the double we went right into a triple and between the two of us you're reeling one in we're trying to get the net i'm trying to get hold two fish you know here on on two poles and you know the guys uh the boys didn't want to go today so jj and jackson uh kind of missed out on some fun today a little slow start uh just working that crankbait uh troll what were we doing one two one three it seemed like when the bike came on and probably uh, took us a little bit to figure out our depth. We realized the fish were starting to move up in the column coming off the bottom 30 foot, 30, 36 foot of water, right? Yeah. Just east of uh, east of uh, Kelly's Island. So we went out again, out of Missouri and took us a while, but you know, by the time we got held up for at least two hours this morning, you know, get run around, leaving Huron and coming back across. So, I mean, we, we we got up there late, got a late start, and then had to waste more time trying to get to a ramp to get out. So wasn't quite in the mood to film, but I thought I'd just keep you guys updated on what we were doing on the trails. Uh, a lot more uh, walleye trips and fishing trips coming up here in the future. Like I said uh, earlier in the video, the Maumee trip. Probably gonna go back up to Maumee and hit the river with the boys and such. Probably do a little camp out. And uh, 42 uh, degrees, folks, that's when them river walleye come in, 42 to 47, that's the prime time. So maybe you guys will come up with us. Yeah, maybe. What did you think about the day, though? No, it was fun. Slow, slow start, found our depth, and wanted it out, I guess. Yeah, I think our biggest fish laying on the front uh, today was, that was our first fish, I think, right out in the morning. For me, that one stands out, stands out the most. Um, I don't know what she's weighing um and then with that last them last couple were nice fish right. too we ended up catching 13 uh 13th one we threw back you know we were that was when we were pulling everything in um so yeah they do uh you know they're most most are female and full of eggs getting ready for that spawn so um you know it's it's on right now the fish are coming in the females are starting to move into that western basin right now uh fish pretty i, I bet if the water clarity is there fish all the way around the islands right now um as they start moving in on that western uh reef basin for spawning um taking the females you know sometimes we look at them but there's no big giant females here these are just solid uh solid eaters and you know there's taking them out you know, it helps the population overall. So we're not we're not losing anything here by taking some females out of that fishery. There's plenty of uh, fish up there, and it's it's great fishing. So if y'all stuck with us till this point, we appreciate you watching the trails. 
Josh, yeah. thanks for going, man. Fun. It's fun. Good yeah. time. Icebreaker yeah. 2024. Slabbed out. Thank you.